Hey everyone, it's Scott with OnlineIncomeBlogger.com and actually this is going to be a case study of me creating a website from scratch, actually a blog from scratch. And The reason why I'm doing this is because this whole blog that I'm creating, actually right in front of you, is going to be so I can publicize and actually help other people from what I've done over the past four, almost five years making a full-time income online. Now this video isn't going to be about that. This video is going to be about me actually going through every step to create this blog so I can bring the information to you. I figured why not go through every step from start to finish and then update uh, on the blog that I'm going to be creating because this way here you can see exactly every single step because some people are starting out from scratch. Some people are starting out where they already have a domain name but they don't know how to forward it and they don't know how to sync it up and all that stuff. So why not do it that way? So the first thing I want to talk about is onlineincomeblogger.com. That particular domain name, when I'm as I'm recording this video, is not actually purchased yet. And I wouldn't have done this if I did, wasn't going to create this video right now because then someone else could have just scooped it up. But the reason why I didn't want to do that is because I want to show you how I'm going to go through and actually buy the domain name and then link everything up. But I also wanted to just let you know on what I thought about when I was getting ready to uh, do this and create a blog and, and all that stuff. I wanted to show you how I kind of decided to do that. Now, I could have just said, you know, you know, scottvoker.com or something like that, but why not use a, a domain name that could possibly give me some search results in the future? Uh, and what I mean by that is some SEO, which is search engine optimization, which we'll talk about that more as I do this blog. But let me just give you a quick overview on how I did that. And the first thing I did is I just went over to Google uh, Keyword Tool, which I just type in Google in the search and then it comes up keywords and then what will happen is usually the first one Google keyword tool this is free totally free and uh, then it'll come up to a, a window where you can actually start entering in keywords alright so now you see it says find keywords word or phrase website category first thing I'm gonna always do in here is just put in a keyword that I'm looking to target so online income is kinda of what I was thinking and then from there I'm just gonna go ahead and hit search. Now I know that's gonna be very popular, it's gonna get a lot of search results. So if you look down here, it shows this online income and it says the competition is very high. And I'm not gonna go into all these metrics right now, I will later in another video, but uh, just so you get an idea. But this one here has 246,000 global monthly, monthly searches. Now, let me just say one little trick here when you are looking for keywords, basically untick the, uh, the little check mark, mark there for broad and click the exact. What that does is it almost puts it in quotes. So this way here we know that this is exactly how people are entering it. If you do it the other way, it could have been like different variations of income and online and and uh, it could have been with another word attached to the end of it. This is telling me that people actually search this exact online income term, 5,400 global searches and 880 local. Local meaning the US, global meaning all over the world. So that's where I, really what I wanted to, to do, just so I can get a better idea. Now, again, I'm not shooting for online income. It's going to be very hard to, uh, to actually rank for. But if I could possibly come close or even just get other long tail, meaning uh, longer ones, like this one here, like online income from home, that gets 390 searches. Not a lot, but if you get a bunch of keywords that might be related to this, it'll start to add up. So I just went off of that rather than just, like I said, throwing out something that I know no one searches for. No one searches for Scott Volker. Uh, they search for terms and keywords like this right here. So then I just attached blogger to the end of it because I know online income isn't going to be available. Um, so I don't really care that online income blogger uh, isn't going to be does, isn't going to get a lot of searches. Let's see if it even comes back with any searches at all. Yeah, see, it comes back with zero. So people typing in online income blogger, it's not even there. I don't care though. I just know that online income is in there. So possibly down the road, I might get ranked for something related to that. And it's also the content that I'm going to be creating here on this blog is going to be related to making money online. So it's about online income. 
So you always want to try to be relevant to your uh, domain name. So that's pretty much how I came up with that. I Obviously, I had a, a long list of uh, different names I was coming up with, and that was the one that best fit me because I want this blog to be about how I generate income online. I want it to be random though. I want it to be about different things that I'm doing because I'm not just doing one particular thing to earn an income. And I'm going to go over everything that I've done in the past, all the way from selling on eBay to Amazon to creating my own products to having membership sites, uh, picking niches, all that stuff. So that's pretty much that. So now let's just jump over to, real quickly, I'm going to jump over to uh, GoDaddy. That's where I usually buy my domain names. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and type that in here. Now I already know it's available because I already searched it, but let's, uh, let's just do it anyway. And it'll come back if it wasn't available, it'll tell me it wasn't available. So let's just go ahead and hit go. And it says, congratulations, onlineincomeblogger.com is available. Snap it up before someone else does, just $9.99. Then they try to always get you to get these other extensions. I don't really worry about these other extensions. Um, I just go with the straight up .com if I can. Um, but again, if it wasn't available, it would have let me know that. It would have gave me suggestions or I could have just branched off and did different things. So I'm going to say buy now. And I'm going to go through the whole buying process here. I'm not going to go through that whole thing here with you. It's not anything big or exciting. You just basically go through and um, you only want to add uh, just that. Okay, now like this here, it's, a, it's saying a two-year. I always start off with one year just to make sure that it's going to be what I want. Um, you know, if, it, if it's a project I'm working on and it's not worth keeping, then next year I just won't renew it. So I only do it for a year. If I see things are going to work, then I'll go and I'll upgrade for five years. Um, but right now, I'm just going to do the $9.99, and then it says Roundup for Charity. I'm not going to do that at this point. And let me just say something. GoDaddy is you know, a great model to look at. I mean, they upsell the crap out of everyone, and usually they're giving you things that you may be interested in. Obviously, I just bought this domain, so why not give me all of these other options? Um, it's a good marketing lesson because everyone should be trying to complement their product that they're selling and uh, offer more value down the line and that's exactly what they do another one is like Vistaprint if you ever go to Vistaprint.com and buy anything through them they're great at upselling um, with relevant stuff so I'm just gonna say check out and then from there it's gonna ask me for my login I've already created an account if you don't have an account you'll just have to create an account and then just uh, you know go forward with that but I'm gonna log in here and uh, I'm gonna pause this for a minute and then I'll come back and uh, I'll show you what it looks like and then from there, it brings you up to your payment information. Obviously, fill all that out. Obviously, I'm going to black this out because I don't want anybody stealing my information. Um, I usually check out with PayPal, so just go through that process. Go ahead and hit log in, and then agree to their terms. <clears throat> Basically, it says I've uh, select or I've created a successful billing agreement. Continue to GoDaddy, and then it should show me my domain name once I hit place order and let me go ahead and hit place order and that's it thank you Scott we sent an email to your email address and uh, that's it so if I want to get started with it I can go ahead and uh, click get started and we will be good to go but before you get started you're gonna need to know how to forward a domain or uh, basically uh, you know link it up but I just wanted to show you how I went ahead and uh, figured out what domain I was gonna use and then now what I'll do is show you how I'm gonna grab uh, hosting and show you how I use that domain name with the blog and we'll set up the blog and all that stuff so I'll see you in the next video